Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 348. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I am flying solo again and I am seeing a pattern here. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Like, flying solo is easy and whatnot, but at the same time, it does short episodes. I don't know. Like, I, I think the show goes well if I banter with someone. Maybe next week. We'll see how next week goes. But anywho, let's hop into the news. So, in the first news, Hasbro and Discovery Family are celebrating Applejack this month for the month of January. So, throughout all this month, the Discovery Family channel is showing a lot of, well, Applejacks. Starting from February the wait the marathon begins saturday february 2nd this does not make sense why does oh sorry <laughs> oh that's for rarity oh yeah and also they'll be celebrating rarity for next month in february so yeah um long story short there's going to be a lot of pony episodes pony episodes that involve a lot of apple jacks yeah so I, if you're an apple jack lover do enjoy like they did this around their facebook their Instagram and so on if you do follow those. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool to see that the Discovery Family channel still likes the ponies. So yeah, so there's that. There's that. Uh, and next month, there's going to be a lot of variety. And let me read the blurb that was read earlier. Uh, Marathon begins Saturday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. Uh, 9 Central Celebrating Pony Fashion among long in February. Wow, this is not a good text. Like, it's all jumbled up. Anyway, uh, in February, Discovery Family Channel highlighting the best episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Equest Struggles featuring Rarity. So yeah, this month you'll get Applejack and next month you'll get Rarity. I wonder if they're going to do uh, March. That's going to be interesting. So yeah, Discovery, this is a nice promotion though, this is a nice promotion. You have to give them props where, where they deserve it. And next news, well, next news, I am happy for this one because I've been asking for this for a while now and they are delivering it. So the My Little Pony tabletop RPG or storytelling game that they're promoting or they're, they're doing, Tales of Equestria, is now available digitally. Yay, much awesomeness. I've been meaning to have this game digitally. It's awesome. So the people who are delivering the game digitally is called Drive Through RPG and you can get them or you can get the game on their website, Drive Through RPG. Um the game costs about twenty five dollars and seventy five cents and you can get it in a PDF form which is awesome. Um, if you couldn't find the book version of this or you do not want to have a book version of this, you now you have a digital version to get. And um, I'm looking through their website and I see they have the Pony Finder game and um, it seems that they're promoting or it seems that they have the game called Pony Finder, the care and handling of riff for two dollars and 99 cents which is cool and if i were to check more probably there'll be more so you know what uh, i'm gonna skip that for now so yeah uh, finally the game is available for the digital format so you can stuff it on your pdf readers mine was an ipad until it broke yep <sighs> that's sad but hey, um, if you do enjoy the tabletop thing, this is for you. Now, next up, and this is the final one on the docket, is the My Little Pony Nightmare Nights trade paperback available for pre-order on Amazon. So, the Nightmare Nights series stars the quote-unquote redeemed villains of the show. And it is a really good read. And right now, it's on issue number four for the Nightmare Night series. And once issue five comes out, I'm guessing uh, one month later, they're going to come out with the trade paperback. Uh, let me double check when it's expected to be released. It's going to be available on June 11, 2019. So yay, much awesomeness, much awesomeness. So anyway, um, 
A bit of a synopsis on this one. Stygian has a nightmare. Princess Luna tries to help. Suddenly, chaos happens. Um, Princess Luna and Stygian go to the Shadow Realm or whatever it is and try to stop the bad guy there. This story is continuing with the um, what you call this? The pillars. Uh, what was that? Legend of Magic. Yes, it somehow relates to the Legends of Magic series. So, if you are following that and want to know what happened after that, well, it's the uh, Nightmare Nights, and I am enjoying the Nightmare Nights. And if you have not read this yet, go and read it. It is a lot of fun, and that's about it. Um, this week I've been a bit busy with work and life and i do wish i had the time i do wish i had the time but it's just uh start of the year more work and whatnot so can't be helped but hey i like i mentioned before i'm consistent <laughs> what's why i don't know how to say the word i'm consistently doing this for you guys and not as a wow what's the word i'm looking for i'm, I'm really bad with language right now not because i have to but because i want to like I enjoy doing the podcast and I like doing content for you guys. It is an honor for me to do this. And well, there's more coming up on in the future. We got uh, episode reviews, movie reviews and so on. So that's something to look forward to. And let's hop on into the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? And funny enough, uh, this week has been a bit boring in terms of what I have been doing. Um, besides going to play a bit of Magic the Gathering at Friday Night Magic, um, I didn't participate in the recent pre-release event, so that's a bit boring. Didn't really do much. Um, hung out with a few friends, so that's something to share if I had anything to share we just met up, we just had coffee, we just talked about um, the old days and whatnot. Oh, um, here's something interesting. Um, you know the whole 10 year challenge thing? Um, I did that and it's up on my Facebook. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com at Norman Sanzo. I don't think there's an at, but you can find me at Facebook at Norman Sanzo. And the difference in years has not been, I won't say has not been kind, but I say that there's no difference. Like, year, 10 years ago, my hair was short. And now my hair is short. I'm skinny and <laughs> I don't I don't see any differences. Probably I'm a bit older and fatter. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Oh, but still, um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see how much you've changed within those 10 years. So, yeah, if you guys... Want to do the challenge thingy? It's a lot of fun. Go do it. It is fun. It is fun. Let's see. Other than that, there's nothing more. Uh, let's head on to the... Well, there's nothing more. There's no next topic or anything like that. So that means we reach our end. And if you guys have any questions or concerns for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Also, please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast and exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Burger Cat, Jeffrey, and Master of Lad. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!